a lot of us uh, seem to struggle with one problem by collecting Hot Wheels. We don't get the, the new stuff early. Uh, we have to like, you know, wait a little bit or just have to, you know, go on online to search for s some new stuff. Even sometimes I see that finding cars online is also very difficult because they still, s uh, you know, sell the same stuff that are pretty much, you could say, old or that I've, you guys have already seen. So today I'm going to be explaining why uh, it's hard to find new models such as this 911, this, the new 911 G3 or sorry, the Porsche 911, 911 GT3 or um, I don't know, what else should I say? This Civic which was new for 2019 and I had to like, you know uh, I got this one like 2021, so had to wait two years. Then this Mustang, which I had to get from an online by a very, like, you know, like a very, you know, like, it was like very complex. The seller was a little bit kind of goofy, like, I don't know, he, he was like, uh, I don't know how to say this, but he was kind of a little bit acting goofy, like he didn't actually want to send me the cars at first or some issues happened while delivering the cars it was like a, you know like a, this issue was like two years ago now anyway so yeah let us just begin with the video and i'm very sorry if i uh sound a little bit weird i have a really bad cold and i know i'm trying to you know try to upload videos on youtube like frequently but i just can't because of i already like told you guys so i don't need to say it again but anyway uh this porsche was a new model for last year and this car was actually pretty successful uh, many people liked it even my even myself also l loved it so I think this is the the best casting of 2022 alongside with the Pagani Zonda R and I'm lucky to have one but some of you are not uh, you know not have this one at your hands right now and that's because the first reason that will be is the distribution. Now, it could be that the distribution in your country is poor or bad. Um, in my country, is also, you know, included because uh, I don't see new stuff anymore. You got I have to, you know, I'm still waiting. And I was just, you know, uh, thinking to get some more cars for the, month of, for the next two months, March and April. And, yeah, for February, I didn't get anything sadly and the month is already you know is getting over and yeah I was pretty much busy this month this month was pretty much rough uh, the second point I will be going next it will be uh, scalpers alright so don't attack me but I really hate scalpers uh, these people if you don't know who they are just like you know get all the same car you know like let us just say this what is this? Is, let me let me get myself a car first. Uh, all right. This, for example, this Viper over here. They will just get ten of these, and even if they find like one of them, they will just take it. Like, uh, they just take multiple of them. I don't mind for taking two or three, but five, ten is really is like ridiculous. You could have, like, you know, brought in like other cars, but. If they're doing for customs, uh, I'm okay, but scalping is a really bad habit, actually. Just kind of like, you know, ruins the other collector's experience. Uh, America has a lot of them, even in my country, because I just see, like, fantasy cars over here. I did a video about scalpers, like, two years ago. It was pretty, like, boring. It was not, uh, it was that much good, so I may make a new one about it. Maybe not, but I'll just include it here. So some people will just take all the new stuff really quick, and I'm not blaming them actually because they're just too lucky, and uh, you just have to go on time. But there's some collectors out there who will just, you know, just take everything, like the same car twice even. Like there's, there's like sometimes that you will find the new model twice, and they will just take the new model twice once again. So. Yeah. Uh, another reason this could be that the store employees are taking them. This is also kind of a little bit weird here. 
because the store employees are sometimes collectors. Uh, this Civic over here, as you can see, nothing really related to the situation or whatsoever, but this Civic uh, actually had some sort of controversy or getting this. Like, I have a white Civic as well, but the white one, um, I think a lot of you people know, let just get that one out. Oh, here we go. This one, I had to, you know, like, import it from, like, America. Actually, a guy was selling this over US, and I told him to just, you know, send me this, and I'll pay you the money. And, yeah, it took me about two weeks to get the car. I was pretty excited as well. So, yeah, it was kind of a little bit weird trying to get your favorite car. Uh, that time was, like, around, like, COVID, so the, like, distribution was definitely, like, closed. And I still, uh, I don't face this issue anymore that I have to, like, you know, import, like, you know, I don't have to get uh, cars from other country. Now, it's been, I just have to, like, you know, wait for, like, two months and then get all the new stuff. So, online is our best option if you don't see stuff in pegs because pegs are really wild. Uh, like, I was going to make a video about, like, why collecting feels like a competition and not like a hobby which I myself is also included so yeah that's kind of pretty much it and a little more videos most probably this week and I'll, uh, it was a little bit quick video so yeah thanks for watching everybody uh, I will see you guys in the next video so yeah